Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital. Today I'm going to be showing you how to work with multiple screens in your assembly application. I have with me the assembly development kit number RFD 77803, my iPod Touch, and my laptop. Let's get started. For this example, we're going to be using the USB shield and the 7 pin GPIO breakout. Fit these two shields together, making sure your pins line up correctly. Plug it into any USB port and we're ready to go. In your Arduino IDE, click File, Examples, Assembly for Mobile, and select the two screen sketch. Go ahead and compile and upload this sketch. Open the Assembly app on your iPod and select your Assembly device. You'll see that the application starts on screen one and has a button labeled screen two. Clicking that button will bring you to the second screen. Again, clicking the screen one button will bring you back to the first screen. Let's make some changes to this sketch. Scroll down to the void setup function. You'll see here the assembly for mobile dot device name equals two screens. Let's change that. Replace two screens with RF Digital. Let's also change the advertisement data to read rocks! Exclamation point. Remember, these two variables together can only be 15 characters long. Let's compile and upload our changes. On your iPod, you should now see RF Digital as the device name and rocks! Exclamation point as the advertising data. Scroll down to the void UI function. Normally you would see two functions, simply for mobile.begin screen and simply for mobile.end screen. Since we're using multiple screens in this example, you'll notice that there's a basic switch case statement which points us to functions for each screen. Create screen one and create screen two. If we scroll down to create screen one, you'll see your simply for mobile.begin screen. The same goes for create screen two. Let's change our second screen's background to blue. Change simply for mobile.begin screen white to be simply for mobile.begin screen blue. Compile and upload, and you should see the changes on your iPod. Let's add some text to our screens. Scroll back up to the create screen one function. Right under our begin screen statement, type simply for mobile dot draw text. Place your X coordinate at 120, your Y coordinate at 300. We'll put I'm on screen one. And let's make our text black. Scroll down to create screen two and do the same there. Assembly for mobile dot draw text 120 300 we'll say I'm on screen 2 and we'll make our text white. Compile and upload and you'll see the changes on your iPod. And that's it. It's that easy to use multiple screens in your Simbly application. You can find more documentation at simbly.com.